everyone, welcome to Mondays with Maya. Here I am in the most beautiful place in Canada visiting my dearest friend Nadine Artemis, who many of you may know her with Living La Bation, the beautiful oils that she makes and the chocolate which is to die for. So I want her to tell us the inspirational story that she has to share with us about how she created this paradise. Here we are, please tell us. nature of course <laughs> um but yeah i did i i think even as a child i was very determined to create my own life and create like um you know to really operate i wasn't really using the word operate but really to live from to operate from a system from a first universe that i created because i just i felt like i grew up knowing like what i really liked what i didn't like and i wanted more and more and more of what i liked and so i kind of feel like i took everything from my childhood or everything from my life so far mm -hmm. and then um took everything they liked and then like mixed it all together and put it up because we used to have like a cottage and i used to go on canoe trips and with a camp and then we'd go into these small ontario lakes and you'd get onto your own these little lakes and i was like i love camping and i'm loving this but i just need my bed to be right, right in the middle of this so it's basically the passion which brought you to this place yes. to create your own paradise. Yes, and even in group five, I would be like, I am not working nine to five. I am not working for somebody else. Like, you know, so again, I didn't know in grade five what I was going to be doing, right. but I knew a lot about what I wasn't going to be doing. Right. And then it kept shifting and, you know, taking shape. And even in grade nine, um, I was doing a science fair project. So it was sort of more on the lighter side of science, but it was, it was fascinating because I was at the library trying to think of something and this book on how to make cosmetics came out and it was, oh my God. it was written for a younger, you know, it wasn't an adult book. And it, it was also talking about ancient cosmetic use in Egypt and all the materials that they used. And I found that fascinating because my great grandfather was the president of the London Egyptology Society. Wow. So we had these paintings around our home that were he had painted because he also went on the archaeological digs, like some of the famous ones, and he was the, the illustrator. So I had these paintings of Isis and the Temple of Luxor. And so when this book spoke about how perfumes were made, and also at that time I was like totally, my I was the youngest, so I had a, a sister, an older sister and a mother, and I get all their hand-me-downs, like the bathroom hand-me-downs. So. I just had this crazy, you know, it was the 80s, it just seemed like everything was very wow. excessive back then, but I had like every perfume, or when we would travel around, I'd get all the little like mini bottles. Because you, from the beginning you really wanted to have a clean product without any anything at all, but I, I would even mix those perfumes, but reading that book, I, it would really, because it, there wasn't a lot of education back then, because right. there was only commercial skincare. You know, eventually like the body shop came, but even then I came to realize like, there's no pineapple in that final face, pineapple face wash. There's no cucumber there. Right. And what is dewberry? And what, you know, so it felt more natural, but then I realized it wasn't. And so what the book helped me to know too was like where perfume came from. And you know, it feels so funny now because you could like Google that in one second. But back then we had to, you know, <laughs> dig, yeah, in dig and through <laughs> the card catalogs and go to the library. And, um, and it was fascinating because it talked about how perfumes were once made from plant you know flowers and things and they were distilled and that was just like oh like that's, that's the it. whole thing the purest is, shape and form yes. of making like oh my god and, and the, it, what we're working with then or like that commercial level you're just like that's like that's like confectionery that's like the ghost of what the perfume was supposed to be and that perfume was like the priest and the perfumist were one and the same person Wow. Because the use of the sacred use of plants, the medicinal use of plants, the perfume use of plants was all seen as like sacred medicine. It wasn't just, perfume wasn't just in the realm of some frivolous right. feminine activity. And it certainly wasn't about, I mean, yeah, it was probably to smell good, but it wasn't certainly coming about because there was well, marketing for insecurity and that we need to like douse and douche our whole bodies in this stuff. God, but that shows you what an inspiration that is to again do what you love love what you do and make your vocation a vacation and just yeah. this is it she lives in a vacation she's on holiday all the time well right <laughs> when i first met ron my partner and he he said like three times he'd be like let's run away together and then finally was like let's let's live where we want to run away to oh my 
my god, did you hear that? <laughs> let's He's repeat like, that. That's a great idea. <laughs> so let's live where we want to run away to. Exactly. Well, I, I often say, oh, we live in a holiday place, yeah. even in LA. It yeah. feels like a holiday place being in Malibu and Santa Monica. And that is, you create your holiday where you want to live. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. And please check out all these oils. And just, uh, I'm going to give you some exercises. Just stay with me. Uh, just, uh, I have to rearrange my camera. <laughs> but how to expand your body, how everything in your body to feel to be ready to receive this kind of passion and knowledge and this kind of awareness of your body mind and spirit to actually get into that position of manifesting what you love Can I say one create more? your heaven and this is it I'm sorry i mean, just to go Please with what you said you're reminding me i feel like my whole life was like a detective story in a way right. but it's for your it's your own detective story and i feel like when you listen to the inspiration right so if you're doing things like meditation or the exercise you're going to show to get into that framework, that connection of mind, body, and that larger part of who you are, that invisible part of you. When you do that, you are given inspirational thoughts, you're given the breadcrumbs along the way, and you have you just notice them and you collect them, and then you all of a sudden you see the whole path. You see, you know, and that's how I really I felt like I just followed all the inspirations. And by 18, I knew wow. fully that I wanted to create all of my own skincare and then just dove in. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much for listening. See you later.